So hey guys, it's Wood Heat Wednesday. Let's talk about some tips on running a wood stove in milder temps, such as the spring and the fall. So as many of you know, firewood is our primary heating source, and depending on the time of year, you're presented with different challenges on running that stove. Milder temps, it's a lot easier to cook yourself out. A lot of times you want to dial the stove back and you end up creating more creosote in your chimney, not really the safest practices. So I thought I'd share a couple tips here on running a wood stove in milder temps. The ideal stove pipe temperature is around 250, 300 degrees, up to about 500 degrees. Anything lower than that, you start introducing the risk of creating a lot more creosote in your chimney, which then, of course, you run the risk of a chimney fire. Uh, if it's not brushed out soon enough and anything above that things obviously are going to get too hot You run the risk of warping things uh, Damaging things or potentially starting a fire that way So I think right off the bat we really want to focus on making sure we stay in those ideal temperatures now the springtime and the fall time It's really tempting to get a fire going and just dial it way down and kind of milk it out for quite a while But it's actually a lot better for your chimney uh, to, to burn in cycles. So just having a little short hot fire, maybe you have one in the morning, one in the evening. We like to try to set ours up somewhere at, towards the coldest part of the day. A lot of times you get a lot of radiant heat from the sun during the day. So we try to usually hold off until the evening and that will hopefully carry us over till the morning and then the sun comes back out. So of course the fall and the springtime, there tends to be a lot more moisture. You get snow melting off. For us, the fall, you tend to get a lot more rain during that time of year. Uh, getting things tarped a little bit early can help quite a bit and then bring in some firewood inside uh, Because you're not dealing with such dry air like you are in the middle of the burning season and that wood stove I mean, it's a dry heat so it can help dry out that wood a little bit. So bringing in some small batches of wood in there and uh, Not too much. You don't want to degrade the air quality, but uh, keeping some inside can definitely uh, Make it so it's lights up really nice and easily So I like using softer varieties of wood in the spring and the fall time something that burns hot and fast I'm looking to get that stove pipe sitting in the ideal temperature range, but I don't want to end up cooking myself out. You throw several pieces of oak or something in there, a couple hours later, things are just really hot. You end up opening up windows and you're just wasting that wood as the heat goes out the window. I like using varieties, I don't know, poplar, basswood, any sort of softer variety of wood. So another simple thing you can do is just change the direction your logs face inside your wood stove. A lot of airtight stoves will have one central location that the air comes in to feed that fire. And if you turn your log sideways, or what they call east-west facing fire, uh, the air can't penetrate through those logs quite as well, and you get a milder and uh, longer burning fire, where a lot of times in the colder parts of the month when you really want to get a lot of heat, they recommend doing a north-south facing fire. Not every stove is really set up ideal to be able to swap this around. So for example, our stove, we can run 22 inch lengths doing a north-south facing fire, but we can only run a 14 inch length log. So this also is a great time to burn up some of those odd cut off pieces or just shorter pieces of, of wood that you got laying around. And speaking of lengths, that's another option there as well. We try to save our full lengths, our 22 inches for our coldest part of the year, less feed in the stove, or trying to get more heat out of that wood. So in the spring and the fall, you can use shorter little pieces. One thing I would recommend is making sure you keep everything grouped together. You, you know, you spread all your coals out, things don't burn quite as complete. Uh, where you keep things grouped together, they sort of work off each other. All that radiant heat, you get a cleaner, uh, longer burn as well. And for the final tip here in this video, um, whether you're someone that burns full time all winter long or you're someone that just burns during the coldest time of the winter trying to reduce some of your heating costs, I would really recommend getting your wood stove lit up just a little bit early before uh, things get too cold where you can open up windows. Especially if you're someone that goes in, touches up your stove in the springtime to try to protect it from uh, the humid summer months, you know, with a little stove paint or something. Or uh, maybe you just got a new wood stove, a lot of times they end up using oil on there. In that very first fire, a lot of times you get a little bit of smoking, a little bit of stink as that stuff burns off. And doing it in a little bit of a milder temp, you can have windows wide open and get a lot of that out of the house. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.